Hello, welcome to another episode of this, that, and the other. And those of you don't that don't know where Tyson's Corner Mall is, it's a, it's in the Fairfax County part of of Virginia, about maybe a 15 minute drive from the city limits of Washington D.C. And Tyson's Corner Corner Mall has been there for years. I actually. I worked my first job over there in a movie theater, and I just saw something on the internet, kind of interesting and kind of surprising. I, I don't really understand the reasoning behind it, but it says they're starting a new program at Tyson's Corner Mall called Shopping with a Twist. It means shoppers will soon be able to enjoy alcoholic drinks while they stroll through the shopping center in select stores. So they can basically purchase alcohol in, in any of the places that sell it, any of the restaurants that sell it. They can't bring in alcohol from the outside. But they can do that and they can go in select stores and, and, and drink alcohol while they're shopping. I is select stores not not every not every store in the mall is going to allow it i i guess there's going to be signs saying whether it's permitted or not permitted but i don't know i don't understand the reasoning behind it to be honest with you i i guess i i feel sorry for the the retail workers having to having to deal with people people getting people abusing it and getting getting drunk drunk in this in the stores and i mean I remember working at the movie theater. I, I dealt enough with with people coming to movies that would, would be drunk, especially uh, late midnight shows. So I don't know. Kind of kind of an interest, interesting thing they're coming up with. I don't I don't know how this is going to work out or how long this is going to last. So this is the first indoor mall in the area to implement the sip and stroll program. So in other words. They must have it in other areas, which which I had never heard of, to be honest with you. The rules are, of course, people have to be of age, but also no BYOB. Drinks must be purchased from a short list of mall restaurants. They range from the American Girl Bistro to Eddie's V's Shake Shack and carried in designated disposable logo cups. They can... They can be sipped in common areas, including the outdoor plaza and in stores that are marked with signs that say, come on in with your drink. Not surprisingly, most retailers are on board, but you cannot take drinks in the parking areas or garages. <laughs> I was reading from a paragraph in the Washingtonian magazine, a little, little bit of a uh, little excerpt from a paragraph on that. And I don't know. I don't know how. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. Maybe they think that people are under the influence. They're more likely to buy more stuff. I have no idea. But this, this should be this should be interesting. It'd be interesting to see how long this actually lasts. But I had never heard of anything like this before. And well, like I said, I'm looking for shows to do in the future. The show is mainly about. Preserving history, especially obscure aspects of history. And with that being said, like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.